Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this effective zoom in and zoom out effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go. Okay guys, so what you see is introduction video that you already saw and which I am going to use to demonstrate this cool technique. And I have already made some changes in color page like color correction and color grading. But today we are going to focus on edit page where all the magic happens. Uh, to make this effect, we are going to use so-called keyframes and keyframes are pretty much commonly used to make any kind of animation, not only in video, but also using text, picture and so on. Keyframes are these diamond icons right next to each individual tool you are using in inspector panel. You can also click on each individual keyframe to affect zoom, position, rotation angle, or you can click on this one to choose all of the keyframes. But we are not going to use that today. If you click on the keyframe, that means that the keyframe is activated. If you click back, the keyframe is deactivated. Just to let you know, guys, I made this zoom in and zoom out effect only using this zoom option. Uh, I've already made some keyframes in this footage, so I'm going to reveal these keyframes uh, by clicking on this uh, wave icon in here. And you can see all of the keyframes I have already made. And to better understanding, I'm going to uh, play this video and pay attention to what's going to happen in the video and also uh, look at the changes on this timeline. Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this effective zoom in and zoom out effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go! Okay, so that are the keyframes I made in this video and just to let you know each keyframe represents different value in zoom option and as i mentioned before i have not used any other option to make this uh, to make this effect so you can see here i have like initial value of the zoom without any changes but here in this keyframe you can see change in value of the zoom and if i actually change the value of the zoom the visual representation of the keyframe also changes Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make each individual keyframe using the same clip, but without keyframes. Okay, here you see the same clip, but without the keyframes. Uh, you can actually see that there are no data about keyframes and I have to set them. So, first of all, what we have to decide is where and what kind of animation we want to achieve. I have to decide where on the timeline I want my first key keyframe to set. So it's somewhere in here or right before I actually mention zoom zoom uh, zoom in effect. And uh, what I have to do is just to click on this diamond icon which is going to result in setting my first keyframe. But that is not actually enough. I need to set another keyframe right at a point where I want my animation to be finished. Zoom in. So let's say that's somewhere in here. Okay, and now I set the second keyframe. Good. But these two keyframes actually don't result in any kind of animation because I haven't done any changes in my second keyframe. So now I have to change the value of zoom because using zoom uh, option I'm going to create the animation. So I can actually click on this, this point and to grab this point and to push it up or I can do it using this option in here, right, like that. Okay, I will leave it at 180. So this results in our animation. This effective zoom in and zoom, zoom out effect. Okay, I think that the animation is pretty slow. Zoom in and zoom out. What I can do is to set this keyframe just a little to the to the left 
you see that I changed a value, uh, the value of the zoom just a little bit. So I'm going to set it one more time to our original value, which is one, uh, 180, I'm sorry. Okay. Effective zoom in and zoom out effect. Now we create another two keyframes for opposite zoom out effect right at the moment I mentioned this effect. So let's find it out. In and zoom up. So it's somewhere in here. So just like before, I'm going to set my first keyframe. This is my initial keyframe. And so, and this is the keyframe where I want my animation to, to finish. So what I like to do is to double click on zoom which is going to set keyframe with the same value as our first keyframe we made in here so this is the final look of our animation effective zoom in and zoom out effect in davinci resolve okay the animation looks pretty good but we can make it a little better by smoothing the animation because Zoom in and zoom out. This animation looks pretty linear. What we want to do is to click on the first keyframe and use this icon right here. Secondly, we want to click on our second keyframe of this animation and we want to choose this icon. Okay. Zoom in. You see, the animation is pretty much smooth. Here, you choose opposite way and ease out good zoom out effect in depth that's pretty much it and by clicking on each keyframe you can make adjustments effective zoom in and zoom out effect or you can also select um, this group of keyframes and to adjust the actual zoom or the, the whole zoom of the footage okay guys so that is all for today i hope you enjoyed my first tutorial ever and if you like this video just click the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you are interested in tutorials focused on davinci resolve just follow my channel and i hope we will see each other next time tschüss